Okay, so now that I've created a Facebook business page for you, and congratulations, by the way, uh, and thank you for uh, using my services and let me help. Um, what I've done is I've created two custom tabs. And so I'm on my Mike's Test Kitchen, which is just a test platform page for me. And I've created two tabs. You used Facebook Markup Language, and I used HTML. And actually, wall and info, they never change. And here's one tab, and here's the other tab. So uh, on this one tab here, you've got a banner. You might have a title for the page. You might have blah, 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 an embedded image or a video in this case or whatever it is. And then you might have a sidebar. And that sidebar over on the right could be on the left or it might not be at all anywhere. Uh, it's up to you. And so what I've done is I've created this. And here's my contact information. And I've got a whole bunch of other things and images and stuff like that that I can do. Oh. You know what? That phone number right there, 4569, that's not right. It should be 4567. Well, how do you change it? Very simply, you go over to Wall, and let's go back over to our Wall, and under your avatar here, you're going to see Edit Page. Now, when this loads, under Edit Page, it's going to give you uh, the two Facebook markup language tabs that I have created, and a couple of other things, notes and photos and stuff like that. But this is what you're looking for. And, of course, we're looking for the one that says Embedded Video. We go over to the Pencil Edit. We click on Edit. And when this loads, you're going to see this is the raw HTML that creates your page. Now, you'll also notice there is no WYSIWYG editor. There's no, um, it doesn't look like uh, WordPress blogging or, or really anything. Uh, it is straightforward stuff. So be very careful. And I'm going to explain this in just a second. So let me open up the HTML box a little bit more for you. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you, uh, I've opened up the HTML and I've expanded it as best I could so that you can kind of see what's going on on your tab. And then what I've also done is I've included little comments. This is your main content section. Well, we know that's not where we want to change that. We want the phone number. So we're going to go down here and there's your contact sidebar. Perfect. That's where we want to be. So looking in here, and you can see I've expanded this section pretty big. There's the offending number. 4567 is what we want. And we're not done. Now we need to go all the way down to the bottom. Save changes. So once we hit save changes, there is no undo button on this. There is nothing that is going to allow you to get that back. So if you mess up some of this code in playing in this, um, you... I don't have a backup. Facebook doesn't have a backup. Hopefully, maybe you cut and pasted the whole thing before you started messing with it. Just be careful. So uh, now we can go back over to the Facebook page and go back over to Embedded Video and go see that 4567. Yay, we changed our phone number. Uh, that means very easily you can go ahead and change anything else. But just be careful. Be forewarned. Uh, you're on your own. Very dangerous territory. Be careful what you do. So that's how to edit your Facebook custom Facebook markup language HTML tab.